Ete Pu. Peace and blessings to all from Divine Peace Meditation and Yoga. This is Mami Imani. Um, uh, thank you so much for uh, joining me. It's Saturday about um, 7.13 a.m. I've just spent the last five minutes trying to um, uh, go live on YouTube and was unsuccessful, so I will have to upload um, today's sunrise yoga video instead. I'll get the kinks out, and um, by Wednesday, I hope to go live. Um, please watch this video to the end. Um, even if you uh, are not comfortable joining uh, uh, joining in um, with the video, please watch to the end and then maybe rewind and um, follow along um, later if you like. Um, but if you are joining in, this will be a gentle vinyasa. Um, it's early in the morning. Um, try to um, do some restorative warm-up exercises and breathing exercises. And, um, and then some um, slow flowing motion, which is what vinyasa means. And, um, and then close out with um, meditation and, um, and stillness. So we'll get started. So back here, I'm close to the um, router box, so I'm in the living room. I have my mat out, I have a, a meditation cushion, and just to speak about props, in the chair here, I have a blanket, <clears throat> crocheted blanket from my uh, mother-in-law, a another uh, meditation cushion that I put in a pillow sham that I can use if I want something under my head. Uh, yoga strap and some light weights. These are two pounders. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using these. Um, I got a um, shot in the arm yesterday at um, the pharmacy and um, arm is a little sore. So we're going to be restorative with the strap and see if we um, get some of the kinks out <coughs> and um, and see if we can handle the weights, <coughs> the hand weights. So, finding a comfortable seat. I'm sitting on my cushion with my legs crossed, navel drawn in and slightly up, just protect my lower back, shoulders relaxed down from my earlobes, hands resting on my thighs, sitting bones moving the glutes aside so that the sitting bones come in more contact with the earth. <sighs> if cross leg is not comfortable, then just extend your legs um, either straight out or open them a little bit wider. But settle in. Uh, we're going to be closing our, um, our eyelids to shut out um, visual distractions. We're going to be tuning into our breath to try to shut out um, audio distractions. <sighs> and we're going to uh, try to feel the alignment within our body um, rather than um, trying to be um, very, very, very precise. And as we open up more, um, we can um, deepen our postures. So, <clears throat> sitting comfortably, tuning into your natural breath. Turning your focus away from thoughts about recent past and thoughts about near future, what happened yesterday or last week, what's going to happen later today and um, over the weekend and into next week. Let's focus on what we're doing right now by focusing on our natural breath. Feel how it flows in and out before you start changing it, controlling it, 
bring, making it more mindful. If you're not comfortable closing your eyes, then close them halfway and stare at a point in front of you on the floor. Body scan from the top of the head, slowly down to the soles of the feet. See if you can relax places that may be stiff. Ask yourself, as I ask and I try to remember to ask in class, how are you feeling physically and mentally? Are there <clears throat> places that are tight and restrictive and achy and, um, and twinges, um, strain everywhere, anywhere? Um, are there um, thoughts that are making you hesitant and um, restricting your breath? You know, closing off your throat and your communication. Think about that as you scan to soften and release. Once you get to the soles of the feet, slowly scan back up to the top of the head and see if there's any place else that you can soften, open, relax into. As you become more relaxed, your breath starts to elongate. Your, um, <clears throat> your inhales get longer and deeper. Your navel naturally draws in as you exhale, but hopefully let it drag, let the exhales drag out too as you get more relaxed. Feel the abdomen inflate, the diaphragm spread, and the heart lift as the spine lengthens upward and uh, downward on the inhale. As you exhale, um, draw the spot, the navel, draw the navel in and slightly uh, up, in and slightly up toward the spine to keep that spread of the diaphragm, that lift of the heart. As you exhale, relaxing down the shoulders, the hips, and and the extremities toward the earth. So let's inhale and exhale three times together. And um, on the last one, to unify all of us as yoga translates, um, let's um, hum on the third round of exhale, the third exhale, um, to create a vibration of um, peace for the mind, the body, and the spirit. So we slowly inhale and fill up the entire, your entire being with light. Draw the navel in and up to keep the lift and slowly exhale shoulders and hips to extremities toward the earth. Slow inhale. Navel draws in, slow exhale. You press your tongue against the roof of the mouth to make the raspy sound of victorious breath, Ujjayi breath. And now to chant or hum. slow inhale and that slow exhale throughout our practice today. Warming up. Inhale. Look up toward the heavens. Draw the navel in as you exhale. Slowly look down toward the earth. Slow down your inhale and your exhale and follow your breath for two more. Slow inhale, even slower exhale. Draw the navel in as you exhale.
to a neutral spine. And take a resting breath, staying still, relaxing into your sitting pose. Gaze is forward, slow inhale here. Draw the navel in, take a slow exhale and turn your gaze to your left. Relax down, resist the urge to lift up the shoulders. Take an extra breath. Nice and slow, inhale back towards center forward. Draw the navel in and slowly exhale to your right. Take a resting breath, relaxing into the pose. Resist the urge to lift the shoulders. Slowly inhale back to center or forward. Draw the navel in and slowly exhale right here. Inhale, lift the shoulders toward the ears. Draw the navel in and slowly let the shoulders float down. Two more times. See how slow you can go. center. <clears throat> Turn to your right. Extend your left fingertips past your right knee. Take your right fingertips to the center of your back or reach for your left side. Inhale, lift up the heart. Draw the navel in and slowly turn the navel chest and gaze to your <clears throat> right. Slow inhale towards center, untwisting. Opposite side, <clears throat> left hand, um, re right hand reaches outside the left knee. Left hand reaches toward the middle of the back or to your right side. Inhale. Lift up tall, draw in the navel, and as you exhale, turn that navel, that chest, and gaze to your <clears throat> left. Slow inhale, coming back to center and untwisting. Draw the navel in as you take a slow exhale. We're going to just create a little bit of a flow and turn forward so that it's easier to see. <clears throat> this time I'm going to switch the front um, foot, front leg for more balance. <clears throat> Inhaling. Draw on the navel, exhale to your left. Slow inhale through center. Draw on the navel, take a slow exhale to your right. Mm. Slow inhale. Draw on the navel for that slow exhale. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Each side is one round, so that's two. Inhaling, exhaling, three A, 
inhale. Slow exhale, draw that navel in. Slow inhale, back to center. Fingertips in front, draw the navel in, and as you exhale, tuck your chin and crawl the fingertips forward. Elbows <clears throat> lift, chin down, forehead reaches for the earth. Try to keep the glutes in contact with the earth, the sitting bones in contact with the earth. And breathe into the lower back, breathe into <clears throat> the side ribs. And as you exhale, draw on the navel, <clears throat> lower the heart. The head will fall low. Tuck the chin. Inhale as you crawl back up. Inhale, exhale. Let's um, extend the legs out, shake the knees, <clears throat> spread the toes wide, circle the ankles, hold on, on place and make a fence out of your hands on either side of your knees so that it is the ankle that uh, does all the popping and uh, flexing. And then reverse. We feel this in the, um, the calves, back of the legs, a little bit in the shins as you circle uh, toward you. But as you circle away from you, it's mostly the calves. Again, shake through the knees, <clears throat> sit up tall, <sighs> spread those toes. See if you can keep the toes um, real gently spread. As we plant, <clears throat> we plant, we spread our fingers, claw, fingertips together, and then point them down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. <clears throat> and we're going to um, rotate the wrists. If you can't get them to go in the same direction, they can go in opposite directions and then reverse. Shake them out. Slow exhale. Relax the shoulders. Open them wider if your shoulders are tight like mine. Nice. Okay. Here's where the strap comes in. Normally, I would um, plant um, plant a hand. Inhale, reach up to the sides and up and then you know lift lift up to get those intercostals open and take a side bend but again tight in the shoulders so I'm going to use a strap to help me out <sighs> so instead of reaching out to the sides which is straining and hurting right in here I'm going to reach forward <clears throat> and to open up it's going to be, instead of straight forward, a little bit open. So I've got my strap in my hand. It's lying across uh, my knees or my shins. And I'm, um, reach, I'm reaching the strap as wide as my shoulder joints. I'm sitting up tall, drawing in my navel to protect my lower back. Uh, feeling my sitting bones really digging into my cushion relaxing my shoulders down and I take a nice and my feet are not um, close together they are comfortably uh, there's a comfortable amount of space between them so inhale reaching up 
drawing in the navel, reaching over, up and over to my right, your right, relaxing through the shoulders and uh, really uh, spreading the toes and trying to keep my left hip from lifting up. So that it's more about the muscles in between the ribs than about my hip joints. Inhale, lift up. Mm. Draw that navel in, reach up and over to left. Really flex the toes in your right foot to keep your left hip from lifting up. I'll even lift up my left knee to put more weight on my right hip. Can't hold it up long. Because then left hip wants to protest. Inhale, lift up. Draw the navel in. Switch. <clears throat> Slight lift in the uh, right knee. Relax the shoulders down. Flex the left foot to anchor the left hip. One more time. Inhale up. Draw the navel in. Switch. Reach up and over. Uh, flex. <sighs> right foot. Lift left knee. Inhale up. Everything's uh, level. Draw your navel in and take that forward fold. Tuck the chin a little bit. Protect the neck. Take an inhale. Draw the navel in. Exhale. See if you can loop the strap um, behind the pads of your toes or the arch. Relax through the shoulder. Inhale, lift the heart. Draw the navel in. Exhale, lower the heart while you're looking past the toes or down at the ankles. Take two breaths. See if you can open and ground with each slow inhale and exhale. Inhale, expand. Draw the navel in, slow exhale. Let yourself ground. Don't, don't lock your knees. One more, inhale. Feel the lower back inflate. Draw that navel in, slow exhale. Lower the heart. Relax through the shoulders. Tuck the chin, release the strap slowly. Walk yourself back up to your thighs. When your shoulders are over your hips, lift your head and take a breath. Mm -mm -mm. Whew, I had a hand towel. I set it down somewhere. <laughs> Whew. Shaking through the knees. <clears throat> Swinging um, the legs side to side, um, to the side. And coming up to hands and knees. Now here, if you have issues with the wrists, this is where the hand weights will come in. And you can use them like blocks. Putting the um, back of the putting your uh, grasping the um, top of the flat top of the weight and bringing them underneath underneath your <clears throat> shoulders right underneath your shoulders your knees are underneath your hips we lower down flat back <clears throat> and our hands are under our shoulders if that feels wobbly Make it flat and put your hands on the weight. But your shoulders are relatively, <clears throat> relatively um, over. Your wrists. You can make it even softer. Bring them in closer. Inhale, 
Lift the heart, lift the tailbone, lift the head. Cow pose, exhale, tuck everything, chin, navel, tailbone. Back of the heart lifts up. Inhale. Cow pose. Exhale. Cat tuck. Without the weights, make some fists. Put them under your shoulders. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale. Not as, uh, not as deep a stretch. Less weight on your wrists. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat tuck. Take one more. See how slowly you can inhale and exhale. And then flat back as you inhale. Draw the navel in. Exhale, hips toward the heels. <clears throat> Inhale, lengthen the, um, and lift the heart. Lengthen the spine, lift the heart, draw the navel in, and as you exhale, fold down. <sighs> Forehead to stacked hands or fists for child pose. Most important that the hips lower to the earth. The uh, earth can lift to meet the first eye. Take three breaths. Slow inhale. Slow exhale. One more here in the center. Inhale. Exhale. Lift up a bit and walk over to your far right. Go as far as you can without moving your knees and lower down again. Inhale, <clears throat> exhale. Fingertips, uh, left fingertips can reach over to the right. Inhale, exhale. Tuck the chin, walk, inhale and walk through center, exhale over to your far left, <clears throat> draw the navel in, exhale and lower down. Extend your right fingertips as far left as you can, take a couple of breaths, inhale, Draw the navel in, exhale. Slow down that last round of breath. Slow inhale. Navel draws in toward the spine for a slow exhale. Take the chin, come back to center, right in front. Ex inhale, exhale, lower down. Take another breath. That's for the twisting work. Slow inhale, lift up. Standing on the knees. Very gently step your right foot forward. As far as is comfortable. Lift up to your right thigh. You can even, if you're wobbly, tuck your uh, left toes under. Draw your navel in. <sighs> Engage the uh, left thigh as well as the inner right thigh. Inhale, lift your heart. Draw the navel in. Exhale. <sighs> Relax the shoulders back and uh, relax um, your 
pelvis into the pose, grounding. Grounding through the shoulders, grounding through the hips. Slow inhale, straighten the front leg. Ah. Fingertips can come down here. Exhale, lower the hips while keeping the shoulders from hunching. All about the core. Take a couple of breaths, really work the navel here. Lift the heart. Relax the shoulders, draw in the navel, relax the hips. Slow inhale, come back up, forward, relax, take a breath. Bring this back and step this one forward, left foot forward, as far as is comfortable. Tuck the right toes under. If you did, the left toes were tucked under. Bring shoulders over hips when, by bringing your hands to your left thigh. Inhale, lift the heart. Draw in the navel, and as you exhale, relax the shoulders back. <clears throat> relax through the hips. Take a breath. If you need to, put your fingertips to a prop. No hunching. Slow inhale, straighten a little bit. Exhale. And lower. Each side's gonna be different. Breathe in. Draw in the navel as you breathe out. Try to make the core do the work. Inhale, plant the foot. Exhale. Oh, hands down. Bring that foot back. And take a downward puppy. Butts up, hearts down, heads toward the earth. Fingers are spread wide. Lift the butt and poke it back. Downward puppy. The gentle version of downward facing dog. Mm. One more breath. Breathe into your lower back, side ribs, abdomen. Draw the navel in. Slow exhale. Relax the shoulders. Poke the hips back more. Plant the hands, plant the toes. Slowly tuck the chin and walk back up. And we are back in a gentle hero pose. Sitting on our heels. Sitting on our heels. And trying to draw the navel in, activate the core, relax the shoulders over the hip joints. Fingertips can touch the earth. Oh, tuck the tailbone a little bit. Reach back for the soles of the feet or the heels. Oh, open the chest. Oh my God. Woo. All right. Spread the fingers wide. Tuck the toes under. Walk the hands forward. Spread the fingers. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Draw the navel in, exhale, extend legs, lift the hips back, and find downward facing dog. Oh, don't lock the knees, pedal the feet. Mm, so, so good. Mm. Step the toes back, maybe a half a step. Inhale, shoulders over wrists for plank pose. Exhale, draw that navel in. Take another breath in. 
Draw the navel in, exhale, knees down, modified plank, inhale, heart through the arms for an upward facing dog, modified, exhale, back to child's pose. Woo, elbows off the mat, extended child's pose. Take three slow breaths. See if you can make each breath a little bit slower while I get a hand towel. <clears throat> Slow it down, full breath in, full breath out. here on the chair. My bad. Okay. <clears throat> that was the flow. Now we're going to try to recreate that standing. Let me check the time. We are 37 minutes in. So we got to make our flows a little bit more dynamic. Again, if you have no shoulder issues, one pound or two pound weights, these are two pound, you can use those, or you can use uh, the strap if you need to. So I'm going to do one version with the strap and one without the strap. So turn to the side so that you can see the um, extension and the flexion. Standing in mountain pose, toes are pointing straight ahead, um, either hip joint distance apart or a little wider shoulder joint distance apart. Strap is in front of you. Tuck the tailbone a little bit to flatten the back. Navel's already in to activate your uh, central core muscles. Relax the shoulders down from the earlobes. Stand, try to equalize your weight between your two feet. Relax through the jaw and the neck. Slow inhale. Watch your hands float forward and up. Draw your navel in. Exhale, press the shoulders back and the pelvis forward for an upward salute. Inhale, upright. Draw the navel in. Exhale, reach for the earth. Take a forward fold. Standing forward fold. Here you can set the um, strap to the side. Inhale, halfway up. Touch Fingertips touch the shins. Back is parallel to the earth, this is standing arch. Exhale, draw the navel in, tuck the chin, and take another forward fold. <sighs> and another resting breath. <sighs> Inhale, soften the knees, draw the navel in, and as you exhale, step your left foot back. <sighs> Lower the knee. Inhale, hands to right thigh. Exhale. Relax, ground through shoulders, hips, and feet. Navel's drawing in. <clears throat> Inhale, reach up. Palms together. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, lift the heart, draw the navel in, exhale, turn to your right. You can stay here or you can bring the elbow to the 
um, to the knee or thigh. Take an extra breath. Inhale, slow. Exhale, slower. Lift up, inhale, come forward. Exhale, hands to earth. <clears throat> inhale, lift the back knee. Exhale, <clears throat> um, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, back, front foot toward the back as gracefully as you can for downward facing dog. Woo, take an extra breath. Inhale, shoulders over wrist for plank. Take an extra breath. Inhale, exhale to modified plank. Inhale to modified up dog. Exhale to downward puppy. Take an extra breath. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Woo! Mindful breath as we walk the hands to the knees and take a standing forward fold. Soften the knees, inhale, reach out and reverse swan dive up, palms meet, exhale, hands to heart. Slow breath, slow the breath down. Relax the shoulders. Step to the front of the mat. Second side will be with oh, the weights. This time it'll be right foot back. Woo! Inhale. Navel in as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, soften the knees. Exhale, navel in and right foot back, lowers knee. Inhale, hands to left thigh. Bring the shoulders over the hips, draw in the navel, take an extra breath, settle into the pose. Mm -mm -mm. Whew. Inhale, up, exhale to heart. Inhale, lift the heart. Draw the navel in, exhale, turn to your left. Relax through the shoulders, extra breath. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lower elbow to knee. Relax the shoulders, engage the core. Inhale, lift forward, exhale. Hands to the earth. Inhale, exhale. Knees back, downward puppy, extended. And that's an entire round. In your home practice, you can do uh, two more rounds, each one a little bit slower. But we just are running out of time. So, I'm going to... Have a seat. <sighs> Wipe with sweat, take a sip of water. And let's go for one of my favorite poses. <sighs> a gentle pigeon pose. Um, my favorite version looks like, uh, looks like this uh, knee in front, this knee comes behind, cushion underneath, you have the left shin in front, cushion underneath 
the left hip. Oops. <clears throat> now to the side. Underneath the left hip. And the right knee can stay bent, uh, aligned with the right hip, or you can plant the hands and work that right knee and toes back. And of course, fingertips, trying to get my core to um, engage and hold me up for even a little bit. Opposite side, right shin in front, cushion at the right hip, right knee kind of aligns close to, a left knee aligns close to the, to the left hip, or plant the hands, lift up, bring in your cushion, extend that left leg back. Move over so you can see what I'm doing. Extend that left leg back. Sit up. Draw the core in. Breathe into it. Hands plant, fold as you exhale. Tuck the chin, come up. Okay, that's one version, more classical. The gentler version is to recline. Partial recline is with the knees bent and back on the floor. <laughs> Egg of the head on the floor, no weight on the back. Shoulders relax into the earth. Take a breath. <sighs> Feel your navel sinking toward your spine. Press your lower back into the earth and that automatically tilts your tailbone and flattens your back even more. More protection for the lower back. Inhale, lengthen the spine up and down. Draw the navel in, bend the knee, bring the <clears throat> right, the left ankle to the right thigh. Press, oh, press the left hand into the left thigh, open up the left hip. Flex the left foot. Try to keep the right knee toward the midline. Take a couple of breaths. Inflate the abdomen. Spread the diaphragm. Draw the navel in as you exhale. Ground all of the back body, the side body, the front body toward the earth. Give all of your cares, all of your strains, all of your struggles all of your pain to the earth. Inhale, lift it up. Hug it in as you exhale. Circle the ankle, flex the foot. And plant. Take a breath. Press that lower back, tilt that tailbone, inhale, lengthen the spine, upward and downward, through the crown, through the tailbone, exhale, draw on the navel, bring that right ankle to left thigh, flex the right foot, bring, keep the left knee toward the midline of the body, draw the navel in, relax into it. Right hand to right thigh, gentle pressure, opening up that right hip joint. 
Take a couple of breaths, slower and slower. Relax the shoulders, don't hunch. Keep the left knee toward the midline. One more breath. Press your tongue to the roof of your mouth and make it hurt. You are victorious. Make your breath heard. Inhale. Exhale. Make manifest. Breathe in the life force. Breathe out what you manifest. Release that. Inhale, lift the knee. Hug it in. Oh, exhale. Circle, circle, point and flex. Inhale, exhale. Let it go. Woo, baby, baby. Windshield wiper. Mm. Widen the feet. Mm. This is the gentlest spinal twist. Recline spinal twist. Open the palms. Receiving and giving. We have received and we give thanks. We give mad respect. We give much love. Inhale, exhale. Inhale the knees up. Exhale. Knees to the side. Inhale the knees up. Draw the navel in and exhale the knees to the side. One more time on each side. Inhale. Exhale. Slow it down. Put the tongue to the roof and make your ujjayi breath, your victorious breath. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale back up. Exhale. Ground. Whew. Bring your soles of the feet to uh, to your to each other. Knees out to the side. Bring your fists underneath. Take a couple of breaths here. Inhale. Inflate the entire pelvic girdle. Exhale. Let your knees relax into your hands. Inhale. Lift your heart. Inflate your pelvis. Exhale. Relax into the earth. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Relax into the earth. Draw the navel in. Separate the feet a little bit. Slow inhale as you bring the knees back up. Exhale, plant the feet, plant the lower body, I mean the back body into the earth. Stretch out the legs for corpse pose, also called Shavasana, but I like to call it stillness. You can Bring in anything underneath your head, like a pillow that I have here in the chair. Um, when we relax, the body temperature lowers about a degree, maybe two. That's why you can also bring a blanket and cover your um, torso, shoulders to, um, to thighs. The core part of the body you want to keep warm. Um, close your eyes. Stretch out right foot and left foot. Open the hands, open them up. Mudra of receiving and giving. Breathe in, breathe out, and let everything go. Back to the natural breath. Body scan, head to toe. See if you can relax any place else. See if you can slow down the breath, deepen the breath. Naturally. Is your natural breath deeper? 
Are your twinges softer or gone? Is your racing mind slowed down and more, or more calm? Can you feel that your heartbeat has slowed down a little bit? <sighs> Let it all go. Let it all go. You did well. Be still for three minutes. I'm paying attention to the clock. Three minutes to be still. Close your eyes. Make outside sounds part of your own natural breath. Give thanks for what you have been able to do. What you were unsure of, but you tried anyway. Respect yourself. Stronger than you think. Wiser than you know. Stay where you are for another two minutes. I'm going to sit up. <clears throat> Come in a bit closer. Bring awareness back to your body. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Yeah, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Circle the wrists, circle the ankles. Roll to the side if you're on your back. Come up to a comfortable seat. <clears throat> Whether that is staff pose or a gently wide straddle or easy pose. If you're in easy pose, put the um, opposite leg in front. We always put the same leg in front. We're switching it to promote balance. Sit up tall, relax the shoulders down, <sighs> Sit, sitting bones grounded. Join me for one round of OM and then we'll close out with our guided meditation of gathering the eight. Inhaling slowly. Draw in the navel and let the OM come forth. Inhaling. Um. Blink the eyes awake, sit up tall. As you inhale, reach out and gather everything that is made truth, righteousness, order, justice equity, respect, love, joy, peace. Palms meet overhead. Slowly exhale that affirmation or wish for yourself and others into your heart. Press the thumbs into the center of your chest. Inhale, let your heart lift to meet your affirmation. Prayer for self and others. And as you exhale, bow to your true and divine self. Namaste. The light in me recognizes the light in you. Dua'u, many thanks to all who followed along, to all that will follow along in the replay. Um, Maria, much love. Thank you for watching this video. Leave an inspiring comment. Um, if you wish to support our um, online as well as in-person classes, you can um, make an, a love offering 
at on, on Cash App, uh, dollar sign, capital H E T E P, capital Y O G A, dollar sign Hit Up Yoga. Um, and if any of our videos, um, meditation videos, garden videos, um, have been um, of any benefit to you at all, please subscribe to our channels. We thank you. Blessed be. May your sacred Saturday stay safe, healthy, and full of abundance. Blessed be.